Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, and Pretendo. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, yes, I'm still camping, and yes, I'm recording, editing, and uploading everything from my Steam Deck. If you don't believe me, here is my Steam Deck recording as we speak. First up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. There's a brand new version of Skyline that was just released, and you might want to check this one out. To pick up the new version, head to skyline-emu.1. I'll leave a link in the description below. And once you're here, you want to pick up version 1265. Now, the technical title of this version is called Make Deferred Draw and Constant Buffer Updates Reentrance Safe. The non-technical term of this version, more games run a little bit better and you might notice some performance improvements. In terms of new games playable, Dead Cells is one of these games and you let me know what the other game is in the comments below. Now it is worth pointing out that this version of Skyline isn't the new turnip build just yet, but once the turnip build gets incorporated with this new version and all of the updates the Skyline team has been doing, well, this new version will eventually blow the turnip version out of the water, and I can't wait to see it. Moving on now, and we're still talking about Nintendo, kind of, with Pretendo. For those who are unaware, Pretendo is a replacement for Wii U and 3DS servers. It's still in extremely early stages of development, but they've made a pretty big breakthrough. The developers have been working pretty hard on this one for a while, and now we can see that CMU supports Pretendo. This is going to be huge. On a side note here, at this point in time, it is worth pointing out that CMU is still not open source. They plan on going open source, we just don't have that date just yet. And once it goes open source, I'll assume someone might take on the task of porting it over to Android. But we won't know until that happens. And speaking about Android, and still speaking about Nintendo, last up here we're talking about 3DS emulation on Android with Citra. Just not the version of Citra that's on the Google Play Store. We are talking about a special fork of Citra designed for performance as a post-emulation accuracy, and it's called Citra MMJ, where MMJ stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano. There's a brand new version of Citra MMJ, and this is kind of a big one. Geometry shaders, also known as GS, have been added. Now, from a performance standpoint, if you're struggling to run 3DS games and you're looking for a speed-up option, this might not be the option you're looking for. However, if you're looking for game compatibility and potentially things rendering properly, then this might be the option you're looking for. Now, fortunately, using these geometry shaders is completely optional. If you want to check them out, open up this new version of Citra MMJ, boot up a game, and then click the settings menu. And then from there, scroll down a little bit and you'll see Enable Geometry Shaders. It's off by default, but you can turn it on and check it out. Citra MMJ is free, it's open source, and if you want to check out the latest version, check out the link in the description below. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it's the brand new version of Skyline, Pretendo, or the brand new version of Citra MMJ. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.